Dude, that's nice. Do that again. All right. Woo! Look at that spin. Down low, up. Woo! That looked great. Wow. <laughs> All right. So welcome to part two of the MEP, MEP, forehand transformation. I'm going to put you right on the spot right away, Ben. Fair enough. We were talking about rotating on the forehand, using the offhand, letting it slingshot through. Have you done any work on it? Actually, I think I've done, uh, by most people's standards, a lot of work on it. Uh, and it's, uh, it's helped me a lot. It's also been challenging because I've been honestly so dedicated to trying to do that that sometimes I'll like be stuck and the ball will be almost on top of me and I don't really get the shot I want because I was either late setting up or I was so devoted to being in that position even though the shot that was coming to me was not necessarily conducive to that setup. Do you know what they call that, Ben? Uh, one of life's challenges. One of life's challenge, <laughs> which is great. They also call that in the learning system conscious competence, right? He's trying to uh, think about something and do something. So sometimes you get locked up, especially when you're in the early stages of conscious competence. I think like in tennis, for a tennis player, like – Conscious competence is like a long stage. It's where you have to think and do until you're just the dream is to get to where you can just be unconscious and competent. You can just play out of your mind without thinking. And that's that's what we're gonna keep training you to do. So you ready to go? Yeah, I like the uh tiny mic thing you have going on. Well, there. I'm doing the tiny <laughs> mic thing because I noticed in my video with the troll that whenever I put it here and I walk around, it's like <laughs> so as much as possible in today's video, so we get clean. I don't want to miss a word with MEP. Uh, so I'm going to do this a lot and I'll put it here. And then I even have MEP, you know, uh, hold my mic sometimes. So there you go. Mike is going to be a constant be an theme. honor. Give the mic a like. <laughs> All right, let's get in this lesson. Here we go, guys. What we're going to do is we're just going to review with Ben here um, and let him get some, get some swings in and see where we're at. And based on where we're at, where we begin, then I know kind of where to take this. So I'm going to uh, put my mic right here. Hopefully it's not going to be making too much noise for you guys. And we're going to start this party. Okay. Here we go, my friend. Just have some fun and hit some balls. Good. On your toes. You always want to get on your toes right away. That's one thing, too. When we start working on our technique, sometimes our feet lock up. Good. I definitely see that nice rotation in there. Awesome hit. You can tell when he connects, that power shoots through. I'm gonna move you a little bit too here. So now you gotta move and adjust. Move and adjust. Really set that arm out straight as you can and slingshot it through. Pretty good. Okay, he's definitely using his offhand a lot better already, which is really exciting to see because he's an awesome student. Appreciate it. I love my totally obsessed students, and we know that MEP is definitely obsessed with the game. Okay, now in this round, I want to see if you can take your back booty here and feel like you're almost bringing it back to the fence, like really load up. So this is much better, and I can see this kind of slingshotting out. Okay. This looks nice. So the next thing I want to see from you is can we get a little lower, and you want to feel... Uh, I love, have you ever seen Dr. Mark Kovacs? I don't know how much instruction you watch. No, I've not seen okay. that one. He works with like Sloan Stevens and John Isner and Sam Curry and Tiafu, all the top America, American uh, pros. He's very much in the biomechanics. And he talks, because since we're in um, Atlanta, he talks about the Coke bottle. Like, okay. The, like really loading up. Imagine you're just like spring loading here, turning the Coke bottle, top of the bottle, and getting here and just right through, right? So back and through okay so get lower on the leg and slingshot through you don't have to exaggerate to where you feel like uncomfortable like oh like it's a squat and you're like in pain okay but you want to get a little lower and then slingshot it through but don't forget about your right hand okay okay let's see how we do so move a little bit more this way let's try and always recover to that crack area there okay okay and you have a joke for that one no <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. ready here you go get down Good. Ready? Load and explode. Good. That's it. And kind of shuffle in between shots so you can feel a little more free. But that is much better use of the legs. 
Awesome. Awesome. I can definitely see you've been working. All right. A couple more. That was good. He really loaded the legs, but then the time was a little off. Good. One more. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So I know when we did our lesson last time, you said, man, this feels super awkward to do. How do you feel now about it? You feel a little more comfortable? Yeah, I feel a little bit more comfortable. It's uh, one thing to get feeds that are set up for success. It's another to get, you know, big shots from your opponent where you don't have a whole lot of time to set up and do all those things that we just went through. So yeah. that's that's what I'm uh, going to be working towards after we finish with this the next time I play. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, that's another thing, too. I The goal is obviously to be able to use this in the match seamlessly. But I, I also encourage people when they're trying to change is not to be in a rush. It's to enjoy the process because this is the learning curve. And when you're learning something new, the more you break it down in a closed environment, you can achieve like perfection on the tech technical aspect. Yeah. It's very hard to watch a video and go, that's a great idea. Let me go use that my match. And that's where a lot of people get stuck and fail. Um, so doing a lot of closed environment work where you're doing shadow strokes, where you're doing hand feeds, and then you know, gradually over time, you just start to feel more and more natural as the challenges arise and you're hitting with people and then playing matches. But it's, it is very hard to go from this to that, right? Which sure. is the match. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. So I already love what I see. You've already done enough great work to where I want to take you to another level. And today I'm going to try and add more top spin to your forehand. Okay. You ready for this? I think I am. All right. Okay, cool. All right. So another thing before we get into the next part of this, you're the architect of your game. You've created a great game for yourself. Thank you. And you get to decide after I show you everything what you want to implement in your game. So you don't have to necessarily do everything that I'm showing you, okay? Mm -hmm. Which I think you kind of picked up on your serve. You saw the serve lesson we did, and then you decide a couple of things that you use from time to time in your match to get a little more power when you want it. So Definitely. same idea. So what I want to do now is be able to add more spin, rotation, and also make the stroke even look just even cooler than it already does. Is okay? that possible? It, it's, it, it's not really possible to make you cooler, but we're going to try. Uh, your words, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> so now what we're going to do, your grip is kind of, show us your grip. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a weak Eastern grip, I'd call it, okay? It's like between a continental and an Eastern. Eastern. So <laughs> what I want you to do is I want you to go over just a little more to where you feel slightly uncomfortable. It's good in the beginning to feel, now you went the opposite way, so that's more okay. towards continental. So the more you turn your racket like this, guys, and you close up the strings, you get more spin. He's almost in a shake hands position, but just over a little bit. I want him to turn over to where he feels slightly like, oh, this is uncomfortable, but doesn't feel totally terrible. How, do you feel okay like that? Uh, it's a little uncomfortable, sure. A little uncomfortable, that's, that's exactly what we want. We want a little uncomfortable. And then what we want is we want the edge leading, tilting forward and down. And we want to hold it there. And we want to lay our wrist back just slightly. That looks perfect. What a great student. So we want to lay the wrist back slightly, but we also want to be relaxed there. We don't want to hold it too tight, which is perfect. Now, we've been talking about that right hand coming on over. So what we want to do is we want to be here, and then what I want him to do, we're just going to do a couple shadow strokes. We're going to initiate the swing, not with the arm. We're going to initiate the swing with the hip. We're going to be in an open stance. We're going to be sitting down, and then I want to feel that hip, and, and I call this toe-to-toe. -to -toe. The toe is going to start to turn. I want you to reach out and over here. Make this move right here. So just try and copy me as you can. And notice that both hands, guys, I want both hands for now. I, I know you see Rafa and Novak hitting like this a lot, but I want to use both hands from here all the way over. And notice how the toes are sliding from this fence to that fence. And as he's doing this, last tip, and I'll show you guys from the side here, I want Ben to reach out as far as he can. You see that? Like, almost feel like it's gonna come right out of your fingertips. I want you to reach out, feel a stretch in your shoulder and over, and notice how the strings are also doing what? They're pointing to the ground. So when we start hitting, we're gonna look like this. See that? And I'm rolling on top of that ball, okay? So do a couple shadow strokes so I can see. Good. 
Don't forget about this hand. I want the, okay. the, them to chase together. Go. Good. And as they come to the end, they get closer and closer. See right about here, look how close they are. Yeah. And then I want you to hand off. Okay. That's perfect. Do that again. Make sure you're initiating with the hip. Good. Get set again. Good. Hold on. I want you to start almost from contact. Okay. There you go. Go. That's perfect. Rather than going over, you need to go out first. Out. Look at that. Okay. Go out to the target. Almost. Let me help you out there. We're right. close. <laughs> right here. Out. See that? Yeah. Here. Out. Okay. And then over. All right. Out. And then I was be <laughs> much better. Do that again. Out. And then over. That's perfect. <laughs> And also, I want you to think about your hip shooting out, right? Don't think about this hip coming over like this, Ben. Okay. See, it's not going to come over like this. I want you to pretend that you've got like a little boxing glove on your hip, and you're going to punch somebody forward, and that's going to shoot the racket forward. Try okay. that. Push that hip out and forward. That is much better. All right. Okay. Now, again, remember to get set here. Mm -hmm. What I want you to do is I want you to think about covering the ball. It would even be kind of cool if we had a lot of, lot of tossing right into the net. That, then I know like you're really getting the idea. Yeah. Lots of times when people really start implementing more spin than they're used to, the ball goes in the net. And as a coach, I love to see that. Okay? So I want you to think about covering, ripping over the ball okay. and, when you do that. And I'm just going to stand by your side and feed you some drop feeds. Okay. And again, just like in our first lesson, it's going to feel awkward. Yeah but then it's gonna to start to feel better, maybe even in part three of our lesson. We, okay. We'll take as many parts as we need. So again, I want Ben to be right there. Okay. I want the other arm there. I want you loaded up, get those legs down low. Good, are you ready? Now you can yeah. look at me. I'm gonna drop the ball, let it bounce, and then rip up on it. That was actually awesome. You see how you covered that ball with spin? Yeah. Good, down low, good. That's it, right there. Okay. And go. Terrible feed by the coach. <laughs> Great job by Ben. Right there, All low. Right. Good. Right there, good. Okay. See, I put that string lower. Right now. Okay, good. There we go. See, I always wants to go back too far. I want him close, yeah. and I want that low and close. Right there. So I gotta have to do that each time. <laughs> Ready and go. That was nice. Now, you see, did you feel that? Yeah. You really rolled over that nice. Now, I want you to do that again, but I want you to have super fun with it. Accelerate fast. Good. That's what I want to see. Notice how you hit that in the net, and most people are like, oh, total fail. As a coach, I'm thinking total success, because that time I really heard the strings, like, click the most yeah. out of any of his swings. So I want to see him do that again. Do that again. Good. Okay. Initiate that hip. Ready? That's good. Now we're getting somewhere. Do that again. I want. To, I don't care if you hit the net a hundred times in a row today, because now we're making progress. <laughs> a lot of people don't believe me when I tell them that, but it's true. There you go. Did you see that? That was amazing. Do that again. Okay. How'd that feel? Uh, I felt all right, I guess. It looked really good. You're nice. going to be impressed with yourself, right? Again. Good. I love it, dude. I love it. And then this time I want you to, you did a pretty good job on the catch. I want you to ex accentuate the catch. Accentuate. 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 <laughs> I'm going to run for politics. It's really, it's a, it's a must to mess up names and words. Accentuate. Is yes. that better? Yeah, I think okay. so. Okay. All right, go. Dude, that's nice. Do that again. All right. Woo! Look at that spin. That was awesome. Thanks. That was awesome. That was great, actually. That was super exciting. All right. Do that again. Ready? Yep. Down there. Notice how I keep tilting the strings to the ground more? Take He's not quite used to that. Yeah. Again. Love that swing. Do that again. And, and just so you know, now I'm going to give him a tip. When he hits the ball in the net, he just comes up slightly too soon with his legs, and then he tops on the ball. What you want to think about is getting the legs low, your, your racket below the level of the ball, coming up, collecting the ball with your legs and your racket coming up to the ball, 
And then after you've collected it, then you can continue to rise and come on over. But if you go up before you collect the ball, then you're going to top it right down into the net because your strings are facing the ground. Okay. So think about on the way up, collecting that ball, and then you can finish all the way up. Good. Do that again. Good job. Ready. That's nice. He, he popped up too soon. Yeah. So stay down a little longer and collect the ball. Okay. Look at that arm. He keeps raising it up. I want it down there like that. Ready? And go. That was nice. Now okay. I see a big catch. So what I want to see is a big fall through the catch. And if you don't catch, I want you to go, oh, I didn't catch. Let me correct and catch. Okay. So we can start to build that catch. Now, okay, okay. do you have to catch every fall through? Absolutely not. There's tons of different follow throughs that are awesome in tennis, but I always like to establish the catch as a nice home base. All right, get the other arm low, lower. All right, there you go. Oh, man, now you're starting to look great. I love how the legs are actually getting lower. And catch, perfect catch. Do that again. Okay. Ready? Down low, up. Woo, that looked great. All right. That was awesome, man. That was looked awesome. Ready? Yeah. Set. Good job. I love it, right? You're going too far back. I want you right there. All right. All right. Ready? <laughs> and I want the string slight. There you yeah. go. Ready. Here we go. Good job. Really accelerate. Think about creating a fire with your strings. Okay. Think about creating a fire with those strings. Ray, going to create a fire with those strings. Yes. You see how that ball went right down. Okay. This guy is doing fantastic. So we're now we're going to move him back to the mid court, and I'm going to toss the ball to him. And now he's going to have to have the same setup and try and do the same exact thing. But it's really, really impressive how quick he's getting this. So now what you can do is now you can add a little mo movement into it. Now everything's going to be exactly right to you. But I want to see you get set here. Set here. If you don't get it, I'll just come and correct you. And then load up and have fun. Really come. And the more you're including both hands and reaching out long, see that arm straightened out there and then over, then you'll be able to hit a nice, powerful ball through the court, but it's going to have nice rotation on it too when you do it right. All right. I don't know if you guys can hear, but they, they got some nice music going on here at Top Tallison Park. Okay. Get set. Yeah. Pretty good. Almost. Nope. He's going the wrong way. We're going to lay that oh, wrist yeah. back. Right. Think okay. about uh, there's a button on your wrist. And you're going to pop it and stretch it back a little bit, but still hold on to the racket loose. I'm going to turn the racket a little bit more. There you now hold it. Oh, now he looks like, oh my gosh, he looks so cool. All right, ready. That looks awesome. All right. Turn the strings down a little more. There you go. Okay. And go. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for coming, everybody. Like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Now, this kid, let's do some more. That was incredible. Man, Ben, I'm so proud of you, dude. <laughs> Thanks. All right. He's going to go from MEP, and he's also going to be known as the Lethal Weapon. Lethal Weapon 3. All right, ready. They made that already, I think. <laughs> they made it already. Yeah. Ready? Get set. So I'm just fixing you there again. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Just keep it right there. Good. Oh, that looks good. All right. Ready. Good job. That one was a little more. Let me have the racket. So that one was a little more just kind of straight through, which was nice. We want that too. But again, the more we can put those strings to the ground like that. So you really think about the strings being at an angle, but also facing to the ground. And then really think about ripping up on the ball. See, so we can get some nice rotation on the ball as we're hitting that. Ooh, that was the best one. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's see where he's at. Now the strings are open. There you go. Yeah. That looks pretty good. And then we're just going to cock it back there okay. now try not to move when i leave just keep it right there <laughs> okay perfect success okay ready good swing nice turn the strings down let's see if you can figure it out yourself good <laughs> both hands together as you hit good i love that right one more both hands together good that's pretty good now I'm going to teach him this one other follow through to finish for today. And then I think, Ben, is your, is your brain ready to explode yet? 
Uh, it's getting there. <laughs> it's doing pretty good. So we're just going to do one other thing, and then we'll probably come back for part three because there's this guy's learning really quick, and there's more things I want to put in there. But I'm already so happy and impressed with my man here today. Thank you. So now what I want you to do, we're just going to add another little fall. -off. Give me that racket. By the way, this racket feels really good. This is a Prince what? It's a twist power. Twist power. It's got a twist in it. Yep. It's kind of cool. Okay. So now what I want you to do, we've been coming over here. Now what we're going to do just to get a little more spin. I still want you to catch the racket. And I still want you to reach out as far as you can. Okay. Now, these are both different follow-throughs. I'm not saying, oh, this one's better and don't do the other. Right? Because if you watch the pros play, they got a bunch of different finishes. And it makes the ball do extra cool stuff. Uh, so, what I want to see is we've been coming here to here, which I like. Reaching out to there. Now what I want to see if you could do, can you still reach out? And then as you get here, kind of relax and point the string down this way. So I want you to finish, still holding on to the racket, but point the string down. So, you know, why would, why would we want to learn this? You can get a little more extra action on the ball. It will help you sometimes if you want to hit like a, a topspin lob. You see that? And then look, look at my finish right here. See, I'm down there. Or if I want to hit a nice little angle shot like that, sometimes I want to finish there. If I got a short ball and I want to get the ball to go up and down real quick, I didn't. I still missed it, I think. But you're going to see a lot of the pros finish down there. But I still want you to kind of catch it here too. So it's like up and then relax down to there. And, this, and have the racket butt going up to the sky. All right? All right. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see what we can do. So let's get the setup. Yeah, right. Looks good. Almost. He's close. There we go. There we go. Look at he's fine. He's figuring it out. So he needs to do a lot of shower strokes when he goes home. Hands a little lower. Yeah. This one is true. I don't know. I, I, I just want to see the string just a little tad. There you go. Okay. Not as intuitive as the other one. All right. This looks awesome. Okay. Now, still do everything the same, but see if you can finish a little different. Good job. And see if you can have both hands work together and catch the follow through down there. Okay. There it is, dude. All right. Now do that even faster. Good, he's getting it. This will give him a little more action on the ball. Again, ready. Good. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to call this the Fast Furious 5 set. We're going to do five balls at a time, and I'm going to feed it to him quick, and it's going to go on instinct and new learning. And some will be pretty and some will be ugly. We're trying to find the diamond in the rough. So even if it hits one good out of five, we're going to go, wow, that was amazing. Right? That's how you want to think when you're new to something. Okay? So right. I'm going to make you kind of challenge you and have you reset quick. Okay. Each time and see if you can keep that stroke in there. And have fun. Pretend like, pretend you're Fetter. Pretend you're one of your favorite pros and just go for it. So we go. One. Good. Ready. Two. See if you can get those strings to face the ground more. Face the ground. Three. Good. Get the legs low. Good job. One more. Wow. Come on. That was awesome, man. I appreciate it. If you don't like this video, then go play pickleball or something. I know I played pickleball a couple days ago. You got the I know. Lines I, for it. Huh? You got the lines for it. You got the lines for it. Anyway, give this video a like. Give MEP a like. Go over the damn. No, I'm not going to curse. Go to the Tennis Troll channel. Subscribe to their channel. What else should they do? Watch all their videos. Have yeah. some fun. Give us your feedback in the comments. Let us know what you think, what we can do differently, what we can do better. If you like us, if you hate us, we want to hear from you. He's taking over my channel. He's the, he, he is the new owner of French Time Coaching. All right, I will give the contract. I got the contract in the car. All right, good Channel's day. yours. <laughs> All right, guys, okay. take care. We'll see you on the next video. We're probably going to come back with a part three. Would you be willing to come back for part three? I think I would, yeah. Good job. Appreciate Super it. proud of you. I'm, like, so excited. <laughs> take care, guys. See you.